Before I started teaching here at the College DuPage, I had uh, several, I, I would call them sort of mini careers. Uh, right after I left college, I was, uh, was in the military. I was uh, a naval engineer, a CB, and uh, I worked in, uh, my specialty there was in underwater construction. We, uh, we went all over the world repairing cables for the Navy. Uh, after that, I was in grad school uh, at Duke. I uh, spent about six years in grad school at Duke. After grad school, I was a postdoctoral fellow at, uh, at Fermilab uh, for about four years, and then I was on, uh, on uh, computing division staff, their permanent staff. And after a while with, uh, in research, I went and uh, spent some time in private industry and in, uh, in the telecommunications industry. And I would say um, I enjoyed every single one of those uh, careers, but I always knew in the back of my mind I wanted to teach. I enjoyed all my careers, if for no other reason than when I sort of felt like, oh, you know, I'm a little tired of this one, I just moved on. I've never felt that way about teaching. Um, you could say every semester is a new start. Every semester I have new ideas, new things I want to try about uh, that, that will hopefully help students learn. I didn't uh, start out thinking I wanted to teach at a community college. I thought more that I would teach at a small liberal arts college, which is where I went. But once I got here, I realized uh, that, uh, that this is exactly the place to be. I think very, when I go to professional conferences now and I see my uh, colleagues that are teaching at other schools, very proud that I teach at a community college. I, I say, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna change the world, if you're gonna make an effect on a large number of people, a community college is the place to be. The thing that attracted me uh, the most to teaching was the idea that I could make a big difference uh, in people's lives and in the world, you know, by being a good teacher. Uh, I will say when I first started out, I thought the idea of being a good teacher was going to be relatively simple. I sort of felt like, boy, if you're enthusiastic and you're, you know, you make it clear that, you know, uh, you want to support your students, uh, that's about all you need. Uh, it turns out to be a lot more complex than that. Um, students don't come to your classroom, uh, I think the word is, as an empty vessel. They come with their own thoughts, their own opinions, their own backgrounds, their own motivations, their own way of thinking about things. And you have to take them as they come. You have to understand that this is how students are when they come to your classroom. And I'll be honest, I can't think of, if, if you love teaching, if what you really want to do is teach, I can't think of a better situation than that.